Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Miriam Algafir and I am the Indissa Youth Development Coordinator. I'm really excited to announce today that we are starting a new series called The Strong Series, where we will be releasing videos that specifically pertain to our youth and their success. This week we will be talking about the 10 habits of a successful student. The first habit of a successful student is to plan ahead. Planning your semester ahead from the beginning or even prior to the school year is extremely important. It sets the standard for your entire school year. It's important to look at where your classes are as well as review your provided syllabi. On the syllabi, take note of any textbooks or online resources your professor will require so that you can get them in on time. Also take note of any assignments, quizzes, projects, or exams that will come up. In addition, pay attention to any activities, jobs, or internships that you will be a part of and take note of their required time commitments. It's important to be realistic. It's not good to put too much or too little on your plate. If you feel that you need to drop or add a class or activity, be sure to do that before the semester if possible. Planning ahead accordingly will help you break up for larger tasks as well as space things out so that deadlines and due dates do not creep up on you. The second habit of a successful student is to build structure. A great way to build structure is by creating a master planner. Planning your days will help relieve stress and will also make your days go by more smoothly. Your master planner should include four major sections. One is any assignments for class. Second will be any jobs or internships. Third is any activities such as extracurriculars. And fourth is any personal activities that you may take part in. It's important that the way you display your information is visual. I highly recommend putting a mirror master planner either on Excel or in any type of virtual calendar such as a Google Calendar or Outlook Calendar or even a physical planner if that's what you like. To start off, you have to gather your information. The first way to do this is by looking at your syllabi and taking note of any assignments, papers, projects, etc. that are on your syllabus and then the due date. Do this for each class one by one and then list out the assignment and then the due date. After that, think of any um, tasks that come with your jobs or your internships as well as your extracurriculars and then your personal activities. List this all out on your Excel or on your calendar and have them there. The third habit is to prioritize. You should be spending time on things that are important to you. You'll realize that as the semester goes on that there will be a lot of tasks fighting for your time. This can overwhelm you and even reduce your productivity. At that moment, you should look at everything that you're doing and prioritize the most important things to you. It's okay to say no to activities that you don't have the capacity to do and sometimes even leave activities that are not benefiting you. The fourth habit is to set SMART goals. Setting goals allows for a long-term vision as well as short-term motivation. It helps you also organize your tasks and prioritize. In order to get the most out of setting goals, make sure that your goals are SMART. SMART stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time-Bound. The fifth habit is to put in the work. A lot of the times we set really high goals for ourselves, but we don't put in the necessary effort to achieve those goals. For example, let's say you're aiming for a 4.0 GPA. In order to do that, you would have to be organized, review your class materials, study, go to tutoring, and everything else that comes with getting a 4.0 GPA. Success doesn't come by itself. Just like you would practice for a marathon well in advance and not just show up, you have to do the same for your goals. It's important that you're specific with your goals and you know exactly what you need to do to achieve them. The sixth habit is to ask for help. A lot of students don't reach their full potential because they refuse to ask for help when they need it. There's no shame in knowing that you are struggling with something. We all do. But what sets a successful student apart is that they ask for help when they don't know something or when they don't understand something. You can ask for help from a classmate, a professor, a teacher, or even go to tutoring services if needed. It's important that you do this in a timely manner or else you might fall behind or not have the time to understand the concept. A lot of the times concepts taught are built upon a foundation and the next lesson is built upon that foundation. 
The seventh habit is to remove distractions. We live in a busy world where we get text messages, phone calls, and emails nonstop. We also have things like social media where we can lose track of time in and environmental factors as well, such as the news or your friends asking you to go out or events happening around you. It's important that when you're doing a task that you set aside time where you don't have any distractions when you do it. This can include putting your phone on silent or even organizing your desk. It's also important that you don't multitask. Multitasking can be a distraction, especially when you're trying to complete a task efficiently and as quickly as possible. Focus your time on a task one by one and make sure that you don't have any distractions. The eighth habit is to surround yourself with the right people. It's always important to have a support group and to be surrounded by people who have similar goals to you and are as motivated as you are. You want to be around people who exemplify what you want to be. When you hang out around people who are negative and who don't understand your goals or what you're striving for, you can often become discouraged and you yourself become negative. The ninth habit is to have a growth mindset. To have a growth mindset means that you believe your abilities are something that can be developed through hard work and dedication. You also see challenges as an opportunity for growth. The important thing here is that you don't get stuck when you fail or give up. A lot of the times we say things like, oh, I failed my math test, I'm just not good at math, I'm never going to be good at math, and I'm not going to try again. Instead, you should look at the situation again and see what you could have done better and try. The tenth habit is self-care. Oftentimes we get caught up in all our tasks and we forget to take care of ourselves. You have to remember that your mind, body, and soul are the core of who you are. Remember to get enough sleep and to eat well. It also helps to practice gratitude. You can do this in the morning or at night. While doing this, you can also ask God for help on other tasks that you need to do or you need to get done. This helps you focus on the positive and your minor accomplishments as you go, rather than focusing on the negative and bringing yourself down.